today I'm here with a new video and for you who doesn't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I run a cruelty-free makeup beauty channel. <laughs> what? I'm a cruelty-free YouTuber and today I am doing a get ready with me. I think because I want to test out some things that is not eyeshadows because I finally got the Space Age kit from Kaleidos in PR and in this one it is one of their new highlighters, this Space Age Prophecy. I'm going to use that today and uh, yeah. And there is a lot of other highlighters. I am thinking about having maybe a giveaway with these one day because I do not need them all. And I'm also going to test out this one from Linda Holberg. This is the Infinity Glam palette. And I am going to use this for my blush. Maybe my contour, I haven't decided. And maybe my brows. I think I will try this for my brows. It feels a little bit light. But <laughs> this feels a little bit dark. But we will see. Uh, I will use it for blush. That much I know. And for my eyes, I'm going to use the Escape Pod and the Club Nebula from Kaleidos. And yeah, I think we just get started. And I'm going to do a green look. And I'm going to focus on this one, Saturnalia. Ne ne Saturnalia from the Escape Pod. Is it boring for me to do another green look? No, it's not. So, um, I just want to like give you a little update on life. It feels like it was a long time ago since I did a good with me. Probably not, but I don't know. Um, I'm also starting to think that I'm going to have some different topics for my get ready with me's. So if it is something you want me to talk about, just leave it in a comment and we can see if I have any opinions on that matter. But today I'm just going to give you a little update and yeah, what's going on in my life right now. I think. If you have ever seen Get Red With Me, you know. I have a lot to talk about in the beginning, and then when I come to my base, I have nothing to talk about. So maybe it's good that I am doing first impression things on my face, so I can talk about them there. There and then. But okay. <laughs> I will leave down in the description which colors that I'm using, but from the club ne Neblo... 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 Blah. I'm going to use Gravity and Queen of Blades and then the Shimmer Green from that one just because I want something easy that goes fast but look good and I want red lips so then we do green on the eyes. So what is going on in my life? Not that much. So this is going to be a fun get ready with me. But I wanted to talk about my cats a little bit or Astrid. Sometimes I feel like I don't want to talk about my cats because I know I'm a little bit high up because I know that not everybody has cats and Not everybody has like the same relationship to animals that I have but I know that a lot of you that watch me have cats and Yes, some of you seem to be fans of my cats, so I want to give you an update and first off I can say it's going really great with the cats. They are so good friends and the only thing <laughs> I don't like it's they wake me up uh, every night because they want to cuddle and both Astrid and Ines they lick my face because they want me to wake up and they only mostly do it to me because I wake up every single time and uh, my boyfriend does not. And uh, I think I've slept like one or two whole nights <laughs> since we got Astrid, no, Ines in December. So, yeah, L little bit tired. But it's going great and uh, they play a lot with each other and it feels 
really really good that they are friends and yeah but I want to update you a little bit on Astrid but okay this is maybe an update maybe I should have waited for this but it's something that feels a little bit not tough on me but I keep thinking about it quite a lot and I've talked about this when I did get rid of me when I talked about Astrid the first time she has she had a heart murmur and also like maybe I should have looked this up but one of her like veins is tighter than it should be is that correct I don't know but it was one other thing so we did an ultrasound on her in August and the vet said that we are going to do now one in March you might see this video in March I don't know when it's coming up but we haven't booked an appointment yet so we're going to do ultrasound on her and I haven't thought about this since like August when we did the first one but now I am starting to worry that something is going to be wrong with her and uh, yeah that, uh, something is going to be uh, not good but we have just to do the ultrasound and see what the vet says it feels good because around like 20 minutes from where we live it's a big animal hospital and they have a heart special specialist that is going to do this um, I think she's like one of the best in the south of Sweden maybe in Sweden I don't know but she is a heart spe specialist and that feels really good and we just have to take it from there she still is like normal Astrid so I'm not worried like that but my cats are my babies uh, and I lost two cats last year and it was it was awful and I just want to hear that everything is okay and it's something we can treat if it comes to that but we will see what they say and we at the same time are going to sterilize her and it, it feels a little bit hard but <laughs> they were the vet said because of her heart it can be that Okay, I should have looked the English words up, but I did not. But okay, we cannot take cats on Astrid or kittens because she, first of all, she's deaf and you are not allowed in Sweden to breathe on a cat that is not hearing. Um, because it's very likely that the kittens are going to be deaf as well. So that's one reason why we want to sterilize her and also the vet said it's better for her heart probably if she's sterilized so yeah we are going to do that and that is one thing I think about it quite often I think it's is because we lost one of her cats to heart failure last year and we didn't know she was like one day she was fine, the next day she she was so weak. And our other cat, Elsa, we don't know what it was that was wrong with her. Um, she had, I think it's not lymphoma, but she had liquid in her lungs and they drained her. But it came back like... In an hour and they didn't know what was wrong so this is the part I don't like with have animals because you can't ask them like how are you feeling Astrid are you feeling good um, so that is something I think about and worry a little bit about not super much but you know like in the back of my head and I just want this to be done so we can see uh, what they say. But they didn't sound that worried when we checked her up in August. So hope not. And also Astrid is soon <laughs> turning one. She is born in April. So yeah. 
and she has started to talk a lot. Like, she usually talks, but now she is so loud. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, that was my cat update. So maybe I should have put that down in the description. If you don't want to hear about cats, you can skip to this time. So that is one thing that is going on in my life. Other than that, not much is going on. It is my birthday in a couple of weeks. <laughs> like, I don't know how many times I've forgotten like how old am I going to be? But I'm turning 32. I'm kind of sure of that. And I was actually planning to go home to my parents. But I don't know. Like the restrictions in Sweden aren't... As in other countries, I guess. And they have started to vaccinate people. And I am like so far down on the list <laughs> because I had COVID and in Sweden you are supposed to wait or you should. They, they say that you can wait um, because I have antibodies, I think it's called. Um, so if you have had it in Sweden, you should wait to be vaccinated. So I don't know if I can go if it's safe or not. And I don't know, a lot can happen <laughs> in just a couple of weeks. So we will see. And in Sweden where I live, we don't have that you have to have a mask on. I know like in the bigger cities, or maybe it is in my city, I don't know. Like if you're going by bus or like subway, but I do not. But if I'm going up to my parents, I am going to go by train and I'm going to wear a mask then because my boyfriend is not coming with me, I think. Uh, because he, even though that I was sick, he didn't get sick and he didn't get antibodies. Is it even called antibodies? I don't know. And I think it's <laughs> so strange because we lived like on each other and it's so strange that he didn't get it or didn't get antibodies, I don't know. So I don't know if I want him to come, but we will see. Maybe I can't go either because, yeah. My dad had some issues with his health and uh, yeah, and that is also really, it was a couple of rough weeks with that as well. He is better uh, and Hopefully, everything will go good. I don't want to talk about it more because I don't want to cry and I want to stay positive about it. So that has happened in my life as well and I just, I don't know. But I feel that I'm feeling a little bit better within myself. Actually, and that feels really good. And okay, I love this combo. But one thing that my mom and my one of my brothers and I have started to do, we video chat twice a week. And that feels really good because I haven't met them since June. It must have been. I know that's not long for everybody, but I haven't met them since June, so it feels really good to video chat. And I can, if you can't meet your family, do that. Okay, I'm just going to take away the folders and I'm going to use this because I, I, I don't want to leave this room. Not that much is happening in my life. Okay, I've got some specs here. Because of... The whole situation, I think, because I have a lot of friends that live, not a lot of friends, but I have friends that doesn't live in the same town as me. Like Jessica, I would love to meet her and see her new house. And uh, it just doesn't feel super right to go there. But I really miss Jessica. And also, like, I want to love to meet 
Angelica again, both of Angelicas that I know, and also like Malin, and I want to meet other internet friends that I have, as Madeleine, if you're watching this, but it just doesn't feel super, super good to go around, even though we don't live that far apart, but I don't know. And then I have friends like one of my oldest friends, we doesn't live in the same city and we haven't, we usually meet once a month, but now I think the last time we meet each other was in August, this must have been. The only thing like that has happened in my life, um, our car started to, like one motor, the motor lamp or the indicator that something is wrong with the engine. Maybe it's called <laughs> started to like came up when I was going to work. So I called my boyfriend in panic and was like, I think the motor is going to break. And he was just like, you can go to work. It has done that on my car forever. And I was like, okay. Um, but it was, first it was like the oil. Okay, this is so boring, but I'm going to take this because you have to make it. I have to make it fun in some way. Um, or okay, <laughs> because that is what happen has happened in my life. So I drove to work and it was just like the oil level is failed or something like that. So it was enough motor oil. But I went to work and I worked all day. And then when I was going home, it said that the oil pressure failed. And I talked a little bit with my lunch buddy at work because he knows cars. And he said, okay, it's <laughs> if it's just the oil level, you can like drive a little bit. But he said, if the oil pressure is failed, do not start the car or go anywhere. Because then the whole engine can fuck up. But... <laughs> It said that when I was going home and I had like uh, a time that I had to be in in town um, for, so I was so stressed. I called my boyfriend and he was just like, drive home. And I was like, okay, if the car breaks down, it's on you. I'm not going to pay anything for this. Um, we owe the car together and we I paid half of the car, but I was like, okay, if something happened, it's your fault. But I was so panicking, so <laughs> I was like, you have to be with me all the time. So I talked on hands-free, of course, because you are not allowed to hold your phone while you drive your car in Sweden, but I had him on hands-free and I made it home, but then I was in a rush um so I well because I had the time that I had to be in town. Um so I was like, okay, when you come home just start the car and see if you can see what's wrong with it and we maybe have to call a workshop and you have to drive me to work tomorrow morning. And I was so stressed. I I hate to be late to things and I'm easily stressed when it comes to like I have to be at a certain place at a certain time. Um, so I was so freaking stressed. <laughs> then when I was done with that, the errand I had, I called my boyfriend when I was going home. And he was like, yeah, I started the car and nothing happened. It was no lights on. The engine lamp wasn't showing. And I was like, what the fuck? Fuck. So it was like, okay, but it happened. So the next day when I was going to work, I told my boyfriend, like, if the engine, because he also dried a little bit just to see, but nothing happened. And I was like, okay, if it's happening again, I'm not going anywhere with this car. But it hasn't come up since that. So we don't know what was wrong. It could have been, it has been 
kind of cold down here. Um, so like the oil in the engine was a little bit thick. I don't know, but it hasn't happened again. But if it ever happens again, I'm not going to drive anymore. And that is one reason why I don't want to take the car up to my parents because it's take like five hours to drive there. And what if after like maybe two hours it starts and I'm all alone. And also because I, I have had my driving's license for Okay, I, I need to fix some things. I have had my driving license for eight years soon. I hate to drive. It's like, if I would live in a city with better like um, buses and stuff like that, I don't think I would have taken a driving license because I, I just hate to drive. I don't know if it is because I can't trust other people in traffic. Oh. Yeah, okay, that is one of the reasons, but also, okay, I'm going to say something now, and I promise you that I am not a psycho, but sometimes when I drive in a car, I get like, okay, I'm going to just do this to the wheels. I guess it's not normal to think that, but like I'm a little bit afraid, not afraid of myself, but like I know I'm never going to do it, but it's still, it's like the same thing when I'm high up. I'm like, what if I throw out something? Or what if I jump? Maybe not jumping, but what? I can hold, hold my phone and uh, or on like a mountain or like a view, view spot. And I can like, what if I just throw this away? And that is why I don't like to drive, I think. I hope some of you have the same feelings as I do, because I hope that I'm not alone. But that is like one of the reasons why I don't like to drive and just, it's not, it's not a thing. Do you know what? I hit pan in my... Um, powder from Nata. It is the tiniest pen though. I am surprised it hasn't happened earlier. I'm gonna see if I can show you. Oh, do you see up there? It's a little baby pen. So okay, are we going into some more fun things? Going to test out some base products. I don't know if this is going to be better on my brows than on my face as a contour. Or do you know what? We can actually try it. It is flare. What is this going to be? Maybe I can compare it to a shade that I usually use. Do you know what? No. I compared it to this one. This doesn't look good, <laughs> so I'm going to use this. This is Kaleido's Charisma Contour. I love this. This has become my absolute favorite contour. And I'm using a brush from Kaleido's. This is their angled contour brush. I usually don't like big angled brushes like this for my contour, but I actually like this. And what I like about this contour kit, this is like... I'm not showing that much, but I think it gives like a little definition to my face. And one thing I've started to do, like the latest, I've started to do something, something, a little bit up here. I don't know if this even shows, but I hate my big forehead. I don't know if it, if it looks big or, or if it's just me, but... I just don't like it. I think it looks huge. But okay, for my blush, I think I actually will go in with this Zenith. And we will see how that looks. And I haven't done my brows. Maybe this is a little bit dark. Oh, I think it works. 
I like C, the Infinity D palette, I see as a eyeshadow palette, but the Infinity palette and this one I see as a face palette. I guess it's because I, this is not any colors that I usually use on my face, on my eyes. I hate my like blue vein here. I don't know if you can see it, but it feels like my blush is cut off there. And okay, now I'm going to try this Space Age Prophecy. And this is a multi-chrome. I don't know. can see the different multichromes but okay I'm going to do this Ooh. okay is this a little bit too dark for me feels like it's I don't know if you can see this I can see it as like Orangey red? Can, ew, that you can see. I'm a little bit afraid that this is a little bit dark for me actually. Oh, I really dipped into this one. <laughs> I really did. And now I have it up in my forehead. And I'm trying to figure out what colors I can see. I see in the viewfinder that you can see this side. I don't know if you can see this one. But it feels like it's a little bit too dark for my pale skin. Or is it just because it looks really... I don't know. I think I need my setting spray. And I'm also now going to do my eyebrows. And I'm going to use flare this one from the infinity glam okay maybe this is a little bit too reddish for me yeah i think it might be. yeah how can this be so doesn't look that reddish in what if i take a crater instead and that is too dark I affect this up, yeah, and it's a little bit too like red. Okay, so this was a fail. The eyebrows look insane. Okay, I'm going to spray my face with a little bit of setting spray. Okay, I I think that this highlighter is a little bit too dark for me because I, I, I it just feels like that. Poops. Okay, for my under eyes, I'm going to take Gravity and Queen of Blades. Okay, I am going, I am a little bit in a hurry right now because we are doing homemade pasta today. We are at least going to try. <laughs> we are going to watch a TV program that starts in 45 minutes and I guess it takes longer than that to do the pasta. So, maybe I should just take a pause and come back, but it's going to take hours. Okay, I'm just going to pop this in my inner corner, screaming from LA Girl. I'm going to pop on some, some, some mascara. Okay, I want a red lip to this. But I don't know how dark, how light, super dark, super light, super intense, <sighs> creamy, not creamy. Okay, I'm going to try this again. <laughs> this is a Lux Velvet from Colourpop in Take a Bow. I didn't like it in my first impression. I don't know if it's like the velvet formula I don't feel comfortable with. It doesn't feel that good on the lips. 
But okay, so this is the finished look. First of all, I love the eyeshadow. I love, love, love the eyeshadow. S super love it. I love everything about it. Um, the A Space Age Prophecy. It feels like it is too dark for me, actually. I don't know, because you can't see it, like... I don't know. Is there anybody out there <laughs> that's watching this uh, and is pale as paper as me and have this? Because here it feels like it's too dark. I think it looks cool, but I don't know if it is for me, actually. Um, the Infinity Glam Palette. Just take a look at my brows and see it looks like shit. But the shade, this one as a bronzer, as a bronzer, as a blush. Really liked it and I used, I don't remember which one of these it was that I've used before. Really liked it. I'm going to try to have this as a highlighter sometime. But I think it feels like the other palettes from in the Infinity Collection. In the Infinity Palettes. So yeah, that was this Get Red With Me. I am a little bit stressed now. Yes, I am. If you have some topics that you want me to talk about, please leave them down below and okay. The slips, it feels like the lines are getting blurred. And I don't... It's like moosey on my... No. Uh, if it is something you want me to talk about, leave a suggestion and I will see if I have something to say about that matter. And yeah, I hope you liked it. It feels like this is so long. I feel so stressed because we're going to try to make pasta. Maybe we're going to fight. Maybe I am going to fight with myself. I don't know. But I hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. I'm normally not this stressed, but sometimes things just take longer than I think. Sometimes things are taking longer than I think they are going to do. And that I'm stressed and I, I'm just going down this. I hope you liked it. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.